Hello, artists! Today we will create a drawing inspired by Roy Lichtenstein, one of the founders of the pop art movement. You will need a work mat, a list of positive four and five letter words, a piece of paper, a pencil, an eraser, red, yellow, blue, and black markers or crayons. Use your pencil to place a small mark at the center of your paper. I double checked that I was correct with my ruler. Choose a word from your positive word list and use your pencil to write the word in the center of your paper. Double check that there is equal space on either side of your word. You can always erase and start again if you need to. Draw lines around your word to create block letters that overlap. Then erase the inside lines. Use a black marker to outline your letters. Then add shadow lines to each letter. Add emphasis to your word by drawing lines and shapes around it. I used zigzag lines and then added other lines and shapes. Go over your lines with a black marker. I prefer to use a black permanent ink marker because permanent ink markers do not bleed when other media, such as markers or paint, touch it. My black permanent ink marker ran out of ink, so I used a black water-based marker instead. I erased all my pencil lines. Roy Lichtenstein limited his color palette to red, yellow, blue, black, and white, so I used those colors too. I filled in the letters with red and placed blue stripes around them. Then I created solid areas of yellow. In a few spots, the black water-based marker lines bled into the yellow areas. If you are using a water-based black marker, I would suggest waiting to use it until you have added all your other colors. I filled in the remaining white space with red dots to represent the Bende dots Lichtenstein was known for using in his artwork. Bende dots were used in comic books in the 1950s to 1970s to add color and shading. When you create your Roy Lichtenstein inspired artwork, please use a red, yellow, blue, black, and white color palette. Be sure to include some Bende dots as part of your design. I can't wait to see what you create. Please take a photo of your finished artwork and attach it in Google Classroom.